Hello, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Very Vixen here. Back again with another Manicure Monday. And, uh, I forgot to show you something last time. I also got this Hollow Taco, um, latex nail protector or, like, barrier. You put it on around your nail and then if you want to do sponging or whatever... Um, it protects your skin and then you peel it off and you've got perfect nails. So that's something I forgot to show you when I did the hollow taco one. But today we're going to do... We're going to do my OPI collection. Excuse me. Okay. And they're falling around everywhere. Oh my goodness. I think I have enough things on this wheel. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I think there's 14 on here. So, then that's my last one. I need to buy more. Actually, I want to show you another thing. that My, my darling little uh, stepdaughter brought me because she's stinks at doing nails. So we have a bunch of glitters. There's a hollow uh, silver, a white, like a light coral, a rusty red, a rose gold, a dark purple, a blue, and a green. And they, I don't really like the tower thing, but look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? They're very fine, and they'll be nice for burnishing. But I really don't like how this is put together. That one looks like snow. That'll be nice for winter. Ooh, I already have an idea for that one. Ha! Ah. Let's see. Let's open this one. Pinky. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a chunk in there. What'd you do, Ashley? What'd you do? <laughs> and these are called Color Revolution, apparently. Um, they're kind of cute. Ooh, that's sparkly. Well, they're all kind of sparkly. So, I'm not short on, um, yeah, I'm not short on, uh, glittery bits. It's just I haven't used any of them yet because the hollow taco has so much bling to it. Look, now it's all over my fingers. Yeah. Oh well. Stuff happens. Okay. Some of these I've had. And some of them she, I think she sent me which ones were they? This one. This one. This one, this one, and this one, I think. I only had a couple, so she sent me a bunch. Ooh, this one's got some glitter in it. Nice. Um, yeah, at her salon, her, her boss said, get rid of these. So, yay. I'm always happy to oblige with that. Let's start with the white. This is the base, the white base. I need to get some mixed beads for my hollow taco. Then it doesn't come with any. Natural nail base coat. It's not really a base coat, it's just white. I guess. I don't know. And well, last week I showed you the not milky white. Let's see if this is milky or not. Nope, doesn't look like it. Mm. Creamy. See, now that's not too bad. I kind of like that. It goes on better than the, the hollow taco. So there's certain ones that of the hollow taco, even though I really went nuts buying it all, there's certain ones that once they're gone, or once if they get goopy or whatever, I won't be rebuying them. And then we have this one. This is called 
It's a boy. And I used this when I did my my uh, ombre across the nails. It was my first attempt at any kind of art. And then, and then, I don't know, it just exploded out of control. <laughs> pretty. It's a very pale blue. It's really pretty. A little bit sheer. So it might need two coats. You can see it's very pale blue. So there's that one. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And then the next one down the line is from their Mexican, Mexico City collection. It's called Verde Nice to Meet You. Yeah. So I've got like bits and bobs from different collections because, well, they do collections all the time. Um, Hollow Taco is the only one that I follow and get most of the collections. Other brands, I just get colors that I don't have in any other one. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, I like that. It's like a sage green almost. Very nice. Sorry my hands are dirty. <laughs> my hands are dirty. I got some on me. From the last swatchings. Okay, this one is a very dark green. It's like an olive gray green. This is called Things I've Seen in Abergreen from their Irish, Irish collection. <laughs> Yeah, they had an Irish collection. Who knew? <laughs> a couple of the other ones are from there, too. I don't get the whole give it weird names thing. But I guess after a while you kind of run out of things to call them. This one I haven't tried yet. I haven't looked to see what it looks like. a brown green. <laughs> and I'm throwing it everywhere. Wow, look what I did. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to check this out. This weird brown green. It's a little bit streaky. I don't know that I like that. I might use that for nail art, but it's not going to be a regular thing, I don't think. I think that's my last, my least favorite color ever in the nail polish. Yeah. Oh man, I need to wipe that over there. Don't mess up your... Yeah. Okay, now this one is like a charcoal color. This one is called Rub a Pub Pub, which is probably an Irish one as well. <laughs> Look at what I did. That's so silly. I flung that sucker across the room pretty much. Oh well, accidents happen. And there, the neck of the OPI bottle is extremely long. So, like, you think you're done unscrewing it, and you're not. So, that causes some issues sometimes. This is pretty. I like this. Like a dark charcoal green or blue, it's gray, charcoal gray. Yes, it does have a blue tint to it, though. A little bit. Boy, it's crazy. Okay, there's that. And then we have a black that's very shimmery, and it is a satin finish. It's a top coat. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's a top coat, but let's see what it looks like on its own. So, I'm so upset that I screwed that up. I'm going to have to just get some more of these. Ooh, hey. 
Oh, that's gorgeous. Not a top coat. It doesn't look like it's a top coat. Oh, that's gorgeous. Really pretty. Look at the shimmer. Me like your shimmers. You know me do. And this one was this one is just uh four in the morning is what this one's called. I could see that I guess. Alright. This is definitely a top coat. It's like big hex glitters. This is one of the older ones that I have. I don't know how it's going to work out. Let's see if I can get the lid off. <laughs> yep. Just chirp, chirp. If it's chirping, you know she used it and got it all over the neck. <laughs> That's my girl. Oh, pretty. Like a gunmetal. It's got big hexes in it. Oh, I love it. This is a nice one for doing um, glitter placement. Really nice. I like that. Gunmetal flakes. Ooh. I'm going to have to clean this bottle off because it's hard to get back on to. Girl. Girl. Alright, here's the next one. It's like a nude and it's called... Edinburgh, Edinburgh or Tatties, Tatties, mmm, Ibsen Tatties, I remember having those in Scotland, Tatties was what they call a potatoes, and Neeps is turnips, turnips and potatoes, and they usually have Neeps and Tatties with uh, haggis, which is also good. If you eat the, the touristy kind. <laughs> I don't like the high-end stuff. It was gross. Oh, look. We have a messed up um, strand here. I'm going to have to clip. So this is from the UK. It wouldn't be the Irish ones. So did they have a Scottish one, too? That's crazy. So it's like a nude, a pinky nudey, beigey color. And then we have, oh, this one with the pretty glitter in it, a shimmer. Um, this one is mural, mural on the wall. So this is from the Mexico Kitty, Mexico Kitty, Mexico City collection. So I'm wondering what what she's going to give me next because her boss doesn't like when it sits on the sale table for too long. Oh, this is a jelly. Look at that. It's very sheer. Okay, well, we're going to have to put uh, another coat of that on and see what that looks like after we get to the end. So we'll put it over here. And then we got this one I used when I used the Halloween did Halloween I did the uh, orange and then I did the um, candy corn. So this one is called Susie needs a locksmith. <laughs> so this is from the Scottish ones too. Irish. It must be UK because there's Irish and uh, and I put that on tight. Always put your lids on tight, ladies, when you have your nail polish, and it will last you forever. I have, upstairs, I have stuff that's 20 years old that's still good, because I like to screw them down tight. I love this orange. It's just so vibrant and beautiful. And it's a one-coater, which is always nice if you're in a rush. If you only got time to put one one coat on and you don't have time to do anything else it'll dry quick etc 
And this is one that I just bought online. I just like, I need to put some more in my OPI collection. I don't have any pinks. Well, I do, but I don't have any OPI pink. <coughs> this one is not named. It is missing the label on the bottom. So this is mystery pink. <laughs> Oof. Mystery pinky. Let's see. Mm. I wish I had a better light upstairs in with all of my nail polishes because then I could show you everything, all of the everythings. Because some of these wheels are just not... I'll have to redo them. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Oh, I hear uh, raccoons fighting outside. This one has a slight, a slight shimmer, a slight blue shimmer in there. Do you see that? Purple, purpley bluey. That's gonna need another coat as well. And now we have this one that I also got that dang brown on. Ugh. Okay, this one is called Nice Set of Pipes, which is also from the Scottish collection. <laughs> she said it was the Irish collection, but I don't think so, because all of these things are, uh, they're Scottish. Oh, look, this one's kind of a matte. That's nice. Actually, that's the one that's a satin finish. Interesting. Not quite matte. I like shiny myself, but we might experiment with that at some point. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, what is with me Butterfingers? Jeez. Give me two seconds. I'm going to wipe that up because it's on my oak table. Lord. <laughs> no. God. And I got it on the pink. Wow. I'm, my fingers are really slippery tonight. So we're just going to finish up with this. I'm kind of PO'd actually. Because this was my last wheel. That is gorgeous. I love it. I can imagine that with one of those toppers on it. <laughs> it would be beautiful. Alright, now there's one left that I wanted to try. Good lord. I can't believe I chucked it. Chucked it across the room again. This one is called Snow Snow Globe Trotter. It's one of these ones that's very, 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 yes. And that's not nail polish. That's the label that didn't come off. So I'll have to get the peanut butter after it. We're going to try this over top of this beautiful white here. It's got some white flakies in it. So maybe not the white and it would be the best thing. I like these colors. Nice. Look at that. That's pretty. It's very pastel y. Ooh, I know I'm going to wear that at some point. Wow. Over white. Look at that. It's gorgeous. And they're very iridescent, too. Oh, I like that. That's really neat. Now, since I screwed up so dang bad over here, we're gonna we're gonna do the the ones that need more. Of course, I can't do this one because it's got the purple on it. But we'll try this one that has the very sheer formula here, and then we'll be done. OPI in your long neck bottles. Dang it. Boo. There. 
That's really pretty. And it's got like a gold shimmer in it. I really wanted to see the pink. Nah. Let's try. Let's try just a little. We won't go all, all the way over top of the purple, I don't think. Just a minute. Uh, long neck mofo. <laughs> long necked bottle. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There you go. There's that blue shimmer in there. Very, very nice. I'm sorry I threw things everywhere tonight. Um, don't know where the butterfingers came from, but uh, you get the idea. That's my OPI collection. And there's, there's these guys. These three guys look good together. And I love that one over top of the white. And it would probably be really pretty over the blue. So, yeah, there's some good goodies in there. I want to thank you all for being here, watching me fumble around with this stuff. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the down there. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.